Jetzt ist schon Tschüss! Tschüss! I have 45 minutes to get ready to go to this show. I've just got off. I'm only after having two lessons. Go, 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 go. Packing time. This is work. <laughs> week for doing Eagles first into two. Um, didn't realise there was going to be so much on. Um, ended up having three shows in uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So this is the first one. Uh, so that's quite a lot as it is because I haven't competed for six months. And then also had three horses arrive for training. So getting used to them. Um, sorting them all out because it's not just the ridden stuff it's everything isn't it that comes along with it uh, and actually fell off the young one um, on Wednesday so I've got like whiplash my body's like Ur. um wasn't her fault it was just one of those things um, and I just I'm so tired from like kind of being in lockdown where things are a little bit like calmer and you know you're not going anywhere and just do things at your own pace like, it's been busy but now, I just feel like I've been like hurled, hurled is a good word, into life. Um, and today is just, again, it's just been so busy. Yesterday was carnage too. So I feel a little bit like, um, mentally it's not a great, it's not a great place, is it? But what I'm going to do is just try and hold it together through this test and then get home and be like, oh, relax. Um, because you just gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, but yeah, yeah, like the tiny all have said, I'm not gonna start stripping in front of you, I am. Just trying to get changed. Um, like the title said, it's Eagles first into two. I should probably get dressed and then explain this, so. So I'm ready and of course I have to take the Roadman jacket with us to do the into two, it'll be the first roadman into two going. Um, I do really want to like talk about how big this is that this is happening with Eagle um, because it is massive. Like, I've had him since he was a, a two year old um, and now it's come to do his into two. Uh, but I'm going to talk about it probably tomorrow after we've done the competing and stuff because I want to like make sure. I do it well and not rush it and I have only got like 15 minutes until I need to get him in the lorry and go so let's go do that. For anyone who doesn't follow me on Instagram and know what the Roadman jacket is, it's a coat that I bought for £16 from Sports Direct and it's literally my favourite, it's my favourite coat and I look like a Roadman in it so happy days. This is how, how out of practice I am. I've got to switch all my stuff. Uh, I can't even talk, I'm glitching. I've got to switch all my spur straps over. I'm gonna do that on the lorry. And um, I do know the into two. I do know my test. But I need to definitely look over it again. Uh, in the lorry. Got my boots. How am I feeling? Do you know what? I haven't even had the time to think if I'm nervous or not. Oh, I'm just tired. I think I'm too tired to be nervous. Goodall, come say hi. Oh, hello everybody, I've grown. Oh, you're all wet. Udo, ready? Sit. Sit. Udo, sit. Sit. Oh, my phone's ringing now. Hello? Yes, it is. Hello, you are right. So that was the show centre to say there was a withdrawal and I can go in, but that would be in like an hour and obviously I'm still here and it takes me an hour to get there and I need to warm up. And... Now they're saying that the times are wrong, but we rang them yesterday because I was in the into one and we needed to be in the into two. Right, okay. And um, okay, they're now fine. saying I'm on at five past six, which I never was. So I'm like, hmm? what's going on? And I think we have to get in the lorry now and just leave. Do we need to go now? I don't know what's going on. No, but I was in the into one, and I now need to be in the into two. That was the whole reason we had that conversation. 
conversation yesterday. We are just we are just rolling with it, putting the horse in the lorry and hoping the judge is in the arena when we arrive. Oh. That bit. Are you not going to be that on this? I edited Why that bit. Well, oh, that's good, yep. <laughs> How'd you do it? Oh. Feel a bit nervous. Come on, Let's pick your own at some hours. Time to be a big boy eagle. Oh, please don't tell me she doesn't know what you're riding. She's remembered where the centre line is. Never asked me to do that before. <laughs> All right, baby boy. When I stay
for somebody who doesn't practice him. Rescued. You need to do a few pick your owns, Eagle, so you get the understanding that we're God. Right, now let's find our PF and passage again, shall we? Right, check it's in front of the leg coming around the corner. Easy for me to say as I always ground to a halt and then into two. A million times. Were you happy? Got to shout it a little louder. <laughs> now we're having a mash. He was so good. There he is in the back. Um, I was going to go and get my mark, but Mum just told me he got 66.4, and he came first. He wants his little fur. to head to Hartley to do the inter two, aren't we? You good boy! Right, I think feel like we can enter the Premier League. It was good. I'm so happy. <gasps> Yay! Say it again! You need to work on going 70 No, you didn't just say it. Say it again. <laughs> you do you need to work. No, we say you, you what you need just... to sharpen no. your act up so I don't no, straight say... all the way across Gloucester to get... Say what you just said. No. I don't know why Say what you just said. I'll tell them. She just said she was super proud of me at Eagle. She has got a soft side. You always tell me I portray you as to be like a dragon. And then I give you the opportunity to be nice. And you won't do it. I think you've just done that on my white jumpers. Oh. Yeah, it's not too bad. So we're all home and uh, it's like quarter past eight and I'm so hungry so I'm gonna eat some food and then I'll chat to you guys tomorrow about what happened. Say hi darling. Come say hi.
say hi, my little treacle. Yeah. You want to show off your do? Oh, my little do. <sighs> oh, look at you. <laughs> You're so handsome now. Oh, it says, Mom, you're making me look silly. Ooh, you taste like protein. Mmm. Protein. Hello, Mimi. Hello, sweetheart. You don't feature much on the old vlog, do you? And then we have Lulu. Lulu Lemon? Lulu. Lulu. Ah, oh, Tucker's wants attention. I am sorry the camera is at such a weird angle. Uh, it's literally leaning on a poke bowl that I just ate. Um, but uh, yeah, let's talk about, let's talk about what happened. Um, so if people who have followed my vlogs for ages will know about Eagle, but if you haven't, I'll just explain um, why it's so amazing that we actually did an inter two because uh, up until, I'd say like a year, a year ago. Yeah, so probably going into the first lockdown. I just did not click with him very well as a horse. We did going up to like medium level. And then after that, I just really struggled with him. I just couldn't gel with him. Um, I didn't feel like I could ride his body type very well. Like he's naturally quite a downhill horse. He really struggles with connection and I just found him very difficult. Um, and also I had been told by a few people that he just wasn't gonna be talented enough to do the higher up stuff. Um, so we decided to keep him at PSG. But I just found, because I said we're gonna keep him at PSG, um, I just had no incentive with him and no direction with him. So after talking to my trainer, um, about it he was like I don't see any reason why he couldn't and um again and I, I'm gonna be honest with you about what I did and you guys know I'm a Christian I basically prayed to God like to give me a new um direction with him and to help me see him in a different light and just for me to be able to train him and work with him in the best possible way and then from then on out uh, it's been so different. I absolutely love riding him. I think he's just oh, tries so hard. Um, such a legend. And I'm really excited what he's going to do. Yes, he still does find some things um, difficult. Uh, you'll see in the test that he really struggled with the PF. And that's not... Uh, and I think that will be fine in the future. Um, it's just he... A little bit like his, his dad, plats um, in the PF. And it's a little bit hard. So I think as he gets stronger, it'll be easier. And also... Um, when they've been at PSG for a very long time and then you go, okay, now PF in the arena, they're like, what? Do you actually want me to do this? Because for so long you want them to like relax in the walk and not jog. And then you're like, come on now, off we go. Um, so that was tricky, but I'm just so, I'm so over the moon with how he was, um, how he behaved, his balance. I can't even explain to you, like that's such a big thing. That's actually the only time, the, no, sorry, the second time I've competed him in the double bridle, um, just not like I've been riding him in it for a while now, but it's just because of COVID, we haven't been out. But uh, he just found such a good frame, and um, yeah, it was really good. Oh, I don't know, I just don't, I don't know what else to say apart from I'm just super happy. Um, I'm just super happy with him, and I just want to like enjoy this moment, you know, uh, enjoy where we're at, and I just cannot wait to get him to Grand Prix. <sighs> Exciting. So anyway, I am like zoned out beyond belief because I'm really tired. So I'm sorry if this has been a bit waffly, but um, yeah, I, be I guess that's the end of the vlog. Um, I'd love to know what you guys thought. Um, I'd love to, yeah, I just love hearing because you as well have followed his journey and you've seen him like, for example, I have his first PSG and first into one in one of the vlogs and he's so different to that now. Um, and I just love hearing what you guys think of his journey and all that stuff. So just uh, leave a comment or share it or just share it onto your social media that you're watching. Let me know what you thought of the vlog. Um, and I will see you very soon for the next one.